This is part 12 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, let's discuss Bootstrap list groups. Let's understand list groups with examples. First, let's create a basic list group that looks like this. At the moment, we have got an unordered list right here. If we view this in the browser, this is how the unordered list looks like. Let's convert this unordered list to a list group. To do that, there are two modifications that we need to do. First, on the unordered list element, we use list group class. And on the individual list items, we use list group item class. Let's save our changes and when we reload this page, we should get a list group. And here is the HTML required. Now, let's create a list group item with a badge. Now, if you look at this list group right here, Australia is a new country. Since it's a new country, I want to display this badge new on the right hand side of the country like this. Let's see how to create this list group item with a badge. To create a list group item with a badge, all we need to do is include a span element inside the list item and then use badge class on that span element. So let's create a new list item for country Australia. And we want a badge as well, so I'm going to include a span element and the badge should say new. And on the span element, I'm going to include badge class. Let's save our changes and when we reload this page, notice we get country Australia and the badge new is also displayed. And here is the HTML required. Now, let's discuss creating list group with hyperlinks. Here is what we want to do. We want to create a list group with three company names. Whenever we click on any of the list items, we want to be redirected to that respective company website. To create a list group with hyperlinks, there are two things that we need to do. First, instead of using an unordered list element, use a div element. Instead of using a list item element, use anchor element. And here is the HTML. Notice we are using a div element instead of unordered list element and we are using an anchor element instead of list item element. Anchor element can also have href attribute and the href attribute is pointing to the respective company website. Let's save our changes and when we reload this page, notice we get a list group with hyperlinks. When I hover the mouse over these list items, look at that. First of all, the cursor changes to a hand symbol indicating that we can click on that list item and also the background color changes to gray. And whenever we click on any of the list item, we are being redirected to that respective company website. Here is the HTML. Now, Let's discuss how to apply styles to list group items. To apply styles to list group items, we can use one of the four contextual classes provided by Bootstrap. We have list group item danger, info, success, and warning. These different classes provide different styles as you can see on the left. Let's apply these contextual classes to list group items and see what we get. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we've got four list items and to each of the list items we are applying a different contextual class provided by Bootstrap. So for the first item we are applying list group item danger, for the second one info, success, warning. Let's see what we get. I'm going to save the changes and when we reload this page, notice for different list items we get different colors that are applied by the Bootstrap contextual classes. Here's the example that we just looked at. Now, let's discuss how to highlight and disable list group items. To highlight a list group item, use active class. And to disable a list group item, use disabled class. Let's look at this in action. Notice in the example right here, on the first list group item, we're using disabled class, which is going to make this item disabled. And on the second list group item, we are using active class, which is going to highlight this item with a different color. Let's look at this in action. Notice when we reload the page, look at the first item within the list group. The first item is disabled. Look at this. When I hover the mouse over, the cursor changes to a stop symbol, indicating that item is a disabled item. And look at the second list group item. It is highlighted with a different color. And here is the example. 
Let's now discuss creating list groups with custom content. When creating list groups with custom content, we can use nearly any HTML we want. I'm going to make use of these three bootstrap classes, list group item, list group item heading, and list group item text. Notice within the list group that we have here, we've got three list group items. Each list group item is an anchor element, meaning when we click on any of these list group items, we will be redirected to the website that we have specified as the value for the href attribute on that anchor element. Within each anchor element, which is our list group item, we also have two other elements. The first element is displaying the list group item heading, and the second element is displaying a paragraph of text. On the anchor element, which is going to be our list group item, we'll use this class, list group item. And on this element, which is displaying the list group heading, we are going to use list group item heading. And on this element, which is displaying this paragraph of text, we'll be using list group item text. And the same is true for the rest of the two list group items that we have. Let's look at this within Visual Studio. Notice here we have our div element with list group class. And within the div element, we have got three anchor elements, which are going to be our list group items. Notice on each of the anchor elements, we have used list group item class. Within each anchor element, we've got an H4 element and a paragraph element. This H4 element is the one which is going to display the list group item heading. So on that H4 element, I'm using list group item heading class. And this paragraph element is the one which is displaying this line of text that we have here. So on that element, I'm using list group item text class. And the same is true for the rest of the two anchor elements that we have here. So let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, we should get a list group with custom content. Notice when I hover the mouse over, it changes to a hand symbol indicating that we can click on that list group item. At the moment, we have set the href attribute value to hash, but you can set it to any value that you want. And when you click on that list item, it will take you to the website that you have specified. And here is the HTML that we just looked at. Thank you for listening and have a great day.